watcher, you'd like to see a giraffe. Um, we shall certainly try for giraffes. I just want to take the opportunity to see this hornbill that's actually not flying away, <laughs> which is quite good. I think uh, they've been giving se some, a bit of a hard time, haven't they, Sam? <laughs> mm -hmm. So this particular one is feeding on what seems to be uh, animal dung, potentially elephant dung. Um, and hornbills will normally come onto the, the dung and just start opening it up because as Byron was discussing this morning, the elephant's digestive system is not the most efficient one of them all. So a lot of things come out almost the same way as they went in. So, oh, that's quite fear. And that's the battle against the dung. And um, there are a lot of undigested seeds that they eat. Still, Mike, you're wondering why do or what do hornbills eat? Well, they eat a variety arrangement of things, but they will consider it omnivores. So they will eat fruit that they find on the trees. They will eat insects. Often they eat scorpions, um, little snakes if they find them. And of course, they, this one in particular is looking for the seeds inside of the dung. And then during the summer months, they could also indulge in a dung beetle or two. Seems like whatever it is found the pot of gold in the dung, hey? <laughs> seems to be quite intent on in eating everything that's been in there, which is good. You see, nothing goes to waste out here in the bush. There are a lot of things that get recycled and then they pass through the digestive system or um, different species of animal. I think this hornbill can be our friend. He's actually been quite nice and he's stuck around, which is more than we can say for some of the hornbills that we've seen on today's drive. <laughs> 